What's up everyone and welcome back to Pokemon Platinum. Today is the final episode before the Elite Four. We're doing all the preparations necessary for it. We're, we're, we're gonna do a bunch of stuff. That's what we're gonna do today. So anyway, let's start off by uh, using this guy's awesome strength powers to push a couple of boulders here and there and grab ourselves this super duper Dark Pulse. Oh boy. I don't think I'll actually be using Dark Pulse, I, as far as I know, because it's a special move. And I'm about to sneeze. <laughs> wow, that sounds terrible, I'm sorry. But anyway, it happens, you know. It, uh, shit happens sometimes. You gotta sneeze, sometimes you don't gotta sneeze, and other times you just gotta dig a little deeper, you know. What am I even talking about? Anyway, today... We're going to be going through a couple of things that I may have skipped over in the last episode here and there in the Victory Road. And picking up those items as well as... I don't even know, but here's a Razor Claw and you can use that to evolve yourself a Weavile, um, even though we already have one. I think there's a Razor Fang around here as well, which you can use to evolve Gliscor or Gliger into Gliscor. So if you can find that, then definitely go ahead and use it. And I don't know how to get to that fat guy there, so uh, this is definitely not the way. Let's go back down and see if we can actually figure out how to do that. Um, seems like it's just right around here. And I don't think we can actually do anything with that fat guy just yet. We gotta wait until the post game. So. Let's just grab this zinc right here and talk to him and see what he's got to do. Let me size you up. Aim for the Pokemon League. That's all you should be thinking about. Alright, sir. That's uh, some good advice there. So basically, he doesn't want to let us go through until we beat the Pokemon League. So that's what we'll do. If that is what the fat guy wants, and that is what the fat guy will get. We will beat the Pokemon League, and then we'll come back to him. Yep. That is what we're doing. And there's a damn rooster outside of my house again. I really don't like them, but hey, what can you do? What can you do? Sometimes you got a rooster in your life, you just gotta deal with it. You just gotta deal with that cock. And by cock, I mean rooster. I apologize if you thought differently. Anyway, I'm acting a little bit weirdly today. I have no idea why. Maybe because it's Father's Day, even though I don't really particularly uh, show interest towards Father's Day, I, I guess. Um, I, I don't know. I, I guess I came into this video thinking in a way that... Uh, in like a Father's Day kind of way. So I just want to say Happy Father's Day to all you fathers out there. Maybe some father out there is like supporting his child and watching a video of my... I don't know. Or maybe you just... You're... You have a dad. So Happy Father's Day to your dad. I guess that sounds better. Um, so uh, to all my fans out there, Happy Father's Day to your dads. And if you are a fan and you are a dad, which I guess would be awesome too, then Happy Father's Day to you. Um... As far as for me, though, I guess I, it's, a, it's a little bit of a Mo story time here. Um, for those of you that don't know, uh, my dad actually passed away about three years ago. And it's not that I don't really think about him or am sad about it anymore. It, I just, well, I guess that's really it. I, I'm really just not sad about it anymore. And I can't say that I don't miss him, but I just haven't really thought about him. I, I don't know. It's like... I guess he was there long enough to be the father figure, and by the time he had passed away, I guess I already had that fatherly role, so it's not that I don't miss him because he was amazing, and uh, yeah, obviously sometimes I do wish he was still around, but you know, you just gotta move on. If any of you out there have kind of been in the same experience, then I suppose you may have already moved on as well, unless it happened when you were smaller and then... Maybe it'll be a little harder because you don't really have that father figure in your life. So, at least for me though, he was always there to be that father figure earlier in my life. And by the time he was gone, um, I guess it's not that it wasn't a big deal, but it just... I guess it didn't hurt as much really because he had already done his part, I guess you could say. Um, so that's that's something that uh, I guess is a little bit of a Mo story time for those of you that didn't know. And you might enjoy it. I, I don't know. I don't. You might have enjoyed the story. I mean, like, have that personal part of me now that you can share. It's actually something a little bit weird to talk about. But like I said, I kind of feel comfortable talking about it. Um, and it, it, I don't know. It just doesn't really bother me anymore when someone brings it up. It doesn't, like, bring really any sadness. Because he was really a great role model and he already did his part. So, yeah, there's a, a little bit of a Mo story time for you, I, I guess. Um... Here's the rare candy that someone actually mentioned in the comments, so there we go, that's awesome. So a little bit of a cut because I couldn't actually find where to go, and I just toggled speed on accident, so that's not very good. 
being on speed isn't a good thing, boys and girls, don't do it. Um, anyway, let's actually find our way back up and out of this victory road, because I think that's about all there is in here, and I totally can't find where I'm supposed to go, which kind of sucks. Uh, but there are a few other things that I kind of want to do in this episode, and by kind of want to do, I mean I do want to do, do, do them, do. What am I saying? Anyway, uh, let's go up here and exit the victory road. And here we are at the Pokemon League. This is it, guys. This is the final stretch. The Pokemon League is ahead. And I know that there's supposed to be a hidden item somewhere around here, but honestly, whenever I use my item finder, it just starts spazzing out and won't actually point me where it is. So I'm going to ignore it for now. I know it's supposed to be one of those plate things. I really don't know which one, but uh, yeah, my item finder literally won't work and I tried searching on every block and it's just not there so I'm gonna ignore it for now and maybe later on it'll work but here we are this is it this is the Pokemon League let's do it and inside we've got a Pokemon Center we've got your standard Pokemon Mart and I guess this is kinda what got the idea for black and white to have the Pokemon Center and Mart combined and I really like the idea and I'm glad that they did that so you got a bunch of balls we got hyper potions max potions full restores revives and full heals, pretty much everything you will need for the Elite Four and Champion. And over on the other counter, we have a ton of balls, which I don't know why you would need more balls at this point in the game. You should already have your full team and a bunch of, basically, balls already, so I don't know why you'd need more balls than that. Anyway, like I said, I'm going to be getting a couple of things here and there, so let's go ahead and use up this guy. We're going to fly to Veilstone City where I'm going to be getting Focus Blast for Fuji, because someone did mention that, and I thought, you know what? That is going to be pretty good to have an extra fighting move, and I don't really like Faint Attack on Fuji. It doesn't really do that much. And Focus Blast, um, I believe you can buy here in the department store. So, all right, so we're here on the third floor of the department store where we have the Focus Blast TM, and that is awesome. I could actually use Blizzard, Thunder, or Fire Blast. A lot of people did say that I should use Thunder on Cool Whip, but I am just not a big fan of Thunder, and I like Thunderbolt better. And so it is time to use up the rare candies that I've been collecting all throughout and use them on the Pokemon that have kind of fallen under leveled. I don't even know where my rare candies are. I doubt they're in this bag though. They're probably in here. Yep. We've got six of them. So, Pacific, you've kind of fallen under leveled recently. Let's use a couple on you. There you go, level 45. That seems pretty good. Actually, let's go for 46. And Pacific is learning Mist, which is totally useless. So, uh, let's give one to Wuju here. Let's give another one to Quaker. And the last one to Cool Whip. Damn it! I meant to use it on Cool Whip. Uh, whoops. So now Quaker is a level ahead, and Cool Whip is now our lowest level. I meant to have everyone on 46, but I guess that was a mistake. But, uh, you know what? Let's forget about that and instead go up here to find Ars. Don't go off without me. Challenging the Pokemon League, aren't you? That's why I'm here too. Let's see who's more worthy of making the challenge with a battle. Alright, so this is it, guys. This is the final battle with Ars before the Pokemon League. Let's see how it do. You may have noticed I put Weavile up first or Vanilla Ice Ice Baby because this guy's gonna have Staraptor up first. Now, the bad thing about this is it does cut my um, attack in half, which means my attacks won't actually be as powerful, but hopefully that's not that that's not too bad to actually be able to still take him out. So Ice Punch does about half damage, and we freeze it, which is absolutely amazing. I wasn't even... oh. Uh, um, yeah, uh, screw you, Staraptor, okay? You, you piece of shit. Why do I freeze you if you're just gonna thaw out on the same turn? Like, what? Really? Dude? Oh my gosh, I don't even know why Star Raptor has close combat. It's like, hey, look at that, we're making an awesome Star Raptor. We're making an awesome flying type. Let's just put close combat on it and make it even more overpowered. <laughs> Not even overpowered, it's just really strong. But, yeah, uh, we actually did freeze it and it just thaws out on the same turn, so I don't even know what the point of freezing it was in the first place, but. There we go, Star After. See you later, pal. Thank you for stepping up to the show. Uh, unfortunately, now Weavile is dead, so we can't even use him anymore. And we got Flosil up next, which is uh, also weak to electric moves, so hopefully we can do... Damn it, it's got Crunch. Oh, God, all these Pokemon always have something that can kill me, which is unfortunate, but... Hey, look at that, it didn't actually kill me, which I guess isn't that bad, so... Let's see just how much damage Thunderbolt does. Um, I want to keep this battle close. I, I want to try to keep it close. So I'm actually not going to use any revives or anything. I'm just going to let it roll. 
and see how we do. Next up, I'm going to send out Wuju because we got that Leaf Blade on it, and hopefully that's going to be able to take it out. So right now we're down. He's got five Pokemon. We got four, which isn't that great, but we're about to even this out by, oh my gosh, you you dick, you got faster. You're faster. That's, that's what I meant to say. Ah, uh, you're a piece of poop, dude. Alright, so there goes the Leaf Blade, and we take out the Float Soul. Cool. I thought Wuju might be faster, but apparently no. Apparently it is not that fast, which is unfortunate to say the least. Uh, so next up is Rapidash. Let's go into Quaker for this one. We're gonna not have Skype in the video. That's that, that's not good, because, um, yeah. Anyway, let's go ahead and use the Earthquake on the Rapidash here and see just how much we can do. It's using Sunny Day, I assume it just wants to intensify its awesome saucy fire moves. And maybe Torterra has Solar Beam, who knows, I'll figure it out when we get there. Hopefully it doesn't, because that would pretty much screw me over. But there goes the Rapidash, one hit KO, which means we're now in the lead again. And you suck, arse. Um, this kind of looks weird. I not having any experience on my Pokemon, it's like, hey, you use rare candies, but then I think, you know what, I actually did use rare candies, so why am I even worrying about it? I don't know, I'm weird sometimes, but next up is gonna be this guy's ace Pokemon, Torterra. This is when I wish we still had Weavile, because I know Weavile would definitely be faster than this thing, you could use an ice punch and just take it out in one hit, because it would be four times super effective, but... You know what, next best thing here, we got Fuji, who's uh, three levels below, but still able to take that thing out like a champ. Look at that, critical hit. Screw you for thawing out of my ice earlier. Only I'm allowed to get hacks. You can't get hacks on me. What, what do you think? Who do you think you are, man? I don't even know who you think you are, but Fuji is just doing amazing. I love Fuji. I like Fuji, I love Vanilla, I love Wuju, and uh, I slightly love the other guys. Um... Yeah, I don't even I didn't even get the chance to read what his next Pokemon is, but I'm gonna assume it's something the Pacific can handle. Let's hope that I was right and not terribly wrong, and that is Snor Snorlax. When do you have a Snorlax, dude? I don't remember you ever getting a Snorlax. You know what? Let's see how much Grass Knot does, because you're you sure are a heavy mother trucker. It does nothing. It it does nothing. And it's got Earthquake, so you know what, Pacific? Good try. I know you that you tried hard to get up on those levels with those rare candies, but you know what? He just didn't cut it. Snorlax was just way too Asian for you. Look at those eyes. Look at them Asian eyes. And I'm not saying that in a racist way, because I have pretty Asian eyes too. But let's see how much Surf does. It probably... Wow. Yeah, this is going great. I can I can tell this is going to be a successful battle. Let's go into Wuju now, who is definitely going to be fast in this thing. And we can go for a Drain Puncher and see if that takes it out in one hit. If not, it will definitely heal me up a butt ton, so... Yeah, okay, not a one-hit kill, so, eh. That's unfortunate. At least we get a ton of HP back, so... As long as this thing doesn't, like, paralyze me or does some other kind of stupid crap... Oh my gosh. What?! Are you kidding me?! It does both of them! It paralyzes me and it does a ton of damage. Oh, man. Okay, as long as you... Oh, no. Oh, no, I was about to say, as long as you don't use the blah, 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 I was gonna kill you, but no. And we only got a few Pokemon left, so let's see if we can actually hit this thing. Oh, yes, we hit it with a Stone Edge. Will it take it out? Yes, it will. Awesome. I did teach Quaker Stone Edge, by the way. I don't think I mentioned that before. But anyway, he is now down one Pokemon, and that is Heracross, which is hopefully gonna get taken out by Fuji, because Fuji is just my ace Pokemon right now, and I love you, Fuji. You are just amazing. I did, wasn't even thinking of using you, but you know what? I don't regret ever doing this, ever choosing you as my Pokemon, babe, because you are just awesome right now. Let's go for a flamethrower and hopefully make this battle a GG. Good game. See you later in the butthole, arse. Why did I just say that? I don't know, but we are actually a level ahead, so this is apparently not the end. Uh, this Aircross wants to battle, so you know what? Let's just give it a fighting chance. You use that close combat. I'm not going to mind at all. Let's leave this up to luck, because I'm, I'm a little bit of a douchebag sometimes, and I want to leave it up to luck. So let's see if we can actually... Oh, oh, uh-oh, uh-oh, this is getting close. I'm going to be a douchebag about it and use Focus Blast. Ho-ho! <laughs> see you later, Heracross. I actually wanted to be a douchebag and see if it, like, missed, and then I would be pissed off, but it would be my own fault. So there we go. Heracross is down, Ars is defeated, and all we've got left to do is the Pokemon League. So there we go.
I guess I'm not ready for the Pokemon League if I'm losing to you. Darn it, you watch tough. I'll get tougher and win my way through the Pokemon League because I'm going to become the champion, the toughest trainer. You better not lose to anyone before me. Alright, so this is it guys. I'm going to thank you all for watching. Next time we begin the Pokemon League. See you guys then.